Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Today I am just going to be getting ready I do want to get myself a little bit more glammed up Because I don't know I feel like I need to glam myself up I'm feeling a little dull today and I just want to, you know, take care of myself and look cute and even though I don't really have anywhere to go But I think it's fine. It doesn't matter, right? Like, why not? Why not just get cute, you know? So, I am gonna start out with my skin. Let's begin. So, I did just wash my face and I kind of just want to do a little face mask because it's a little dull right now and I want it to be more brightened and more just oomph, you know? I want that extra oomph, that extra voila de je suis anybody, you know? I just want that oomph. So today I'm actually gonna be taking the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Refining Face Mask. This is made in Australia. It looks like this and this is a pink mask. It's like the prettiest thing ever. Look at that, you guys. It's literally pink. When I tell you guys this is like probably my favorite mask ever, it uh, truly is. They are cruelty-free and 100% vegan. And this mask is an Australian botanical infused pink clay mask with a super powered 4-in-1 formula to draw out impurities, Tighten pores, sorry guys, it's gonna focus on me. Tighten pores invig and invigorating a dull complexion in order to boost radiance. So I can acquire to that it does all that. It literally just makes me feel like I just got a facial because of how beautiful my skin looks when I use this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put this mask on because it is my favorite mask. I just cleansed my face. I didn't apply any serums or anything. We'll do that after. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as a little pick me up um, because I need something to just revive my dull complexion and this is gonna do just that. So, my hair out of my face and then I'm gonna take with this like a brush. Go ahead and just put it on all over. And what I love about this, you guys, is it smells so good and fresh and it's pink. Like how cute is that? look cute while you're masking you know i just put it on pretty much like everywhere actually where my pores are because this is really good for your pores to kind of just like refine them and clear them out so really like, get it in that area there. okay guys so i have the mask on leave it on for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna wash it off it's gonna turn kind of matte once it is ready to wash off as you guys can see there's already parts of it that are like turning matte so i will be back in 10 minutes to wash this off I look crazy. As you can see, the mask fully dried. Um, Sand this guy was nice enough to send me some of their uh, towels. Like these little towelettes are so cute because you, you can take off the mask with them. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So this is so cute. I literally look like a crazy person right now. But I, I just kind of pat down like gently. I have hiccups. Oh my God. But yeah, pat down gently. I'll do this. So I just try to do this as gently as possible. It takes like everything right off. I'm gonna do the forehead. Oh. I just wanna like gently take it all off. Look at the glow on my skin already though. My skin looks so rejuvenated. Like my skin is glowing. I don't know if you guys could tell, but literally is. So I like just fully like put water in my face. Okay, you guys, first of all, oh my God, like, do you guys see my complexion right now? It's like completely rejuvenated. It just looks so fresh and like less dull. Like I just look more alive. I don't know if you guys could tell. Anyways, as you guys can see, it looks so clear and smooth and just glowing. So like I said, that's why this is my favorite face mask. I use this at least once a week. I think you can use it up to twice a week. I do have a discount code for you guys right here. This is definitely a yes for me. So make sure you guys go check them out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my skincare. I'm gonna start out today with the vitamin C. So this is the Paracone by CC for like brightening complex 20%. I am wearing a lip balm right now because my lips were so dry. So I just had to, but just kind of lightly pat that vitamin C 
into the skin. This niacinamide from Good Molecules. I like don't even think I have any left, but oh, I do have some left. So niacinamide. Gonna pat that onto the skin. Hyaluronic acid. This is from Versed. Do a drop or two to really hydrate the skin. And I always pat and never dry. Elite Peptide Cream. This is from Drunk Elephant. How satisfying is that? And then I'm just gonna put that on lower and upwards motions. Never want to drag down, always upwards for the Polypeptide Cream. This is from Versed. And it's just like really cool when you shake it up, it like, like look how cool the bubbles. So I'm gonna take like a drop of that, like put it on. Drops and then you pat it down. At least we're gonna use sunscreen. This one's the Dermalogica. But this one works for me and it's broad spectrum, so that's like really good. So honestly, it works for me. So I'm just gonna put it on, especially on my forehead and kind of like on the side of my mouth. Smile lines form. So you wanna make sure you just get that all over. It's the Good Molecules Wake Me Up Gel. And it's super cool because it comes in this like gel-like consistency, which I'll show you guys. Oh, like just satisfying that is. I'm just gonna put that on now. Put it underneath my eyes and it just like really wakes you up underneath your eyes and I love just how it makes that area feel. Okay, so now we are like moisturized and ready to get glam. Let's go put on some makeup. Okay, hey guys, so I am back in my room ready to film for you guys. I do have my window open because the lighting in my apartment sucks and this is the only way I can get like semi good lighting as you guys can see so there might be cars you might be hearing things so I might silence a part of this video I don't know we'll see what I'm gonna do but um without further ado I guess let's get started I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee and we're gonna begin okay so I'm gonna take a primer called the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer I just got this and I'm excited to use it it's actually gonna be my first time trying it out for you guys today Ooh, it's pink Oh my god, it smells like roses. I'm pretty sure there's something with roses in this thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on all over to prime my face. Did I put on like, like clips to like, yeah, let's use clippies. So I'm gonna use these from, I think these are from Glossier. I've had these for like the longest time and they're just so good for when you're doing your makeup to kind of just keep your hair out of your face. But I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I swear this video is not sponsored by Laura Mercier, but I just freaking love their stuff and I get a lot of their stuff. Um, so this has SPF, Tinted Moisturizer, and it's just really, really nice. Go ahead and put that on all over you guys it's so nice and beautiful outside today like the weather is gorgeous um i was thinking about what is new in my life i have been working on something it's a secret right now but i will let you guys know what it is once it's like a for sure thing because it's still it's just like a project that i a project that i'm working on because i for the longest time have just been trying to figure out what i want to do because i love youtube and everything but i also do want to do something more and by the way, like, I've been doing YouTube with, since, like, 2014, which is crazy because when I first started YouTube, it was, like, such a different world, and now it's also such a different world. It's just, there's so many, it's so saturated now because of TikTok and everything. It feels like literally everyone is now, like, a content creator, which I think is great, but at the same time, there's a lot of competition now. When I first started YouTube, I was kind of just like didn't know what I was doing and um, I got super lucky that I started early because I got this like loyal following from a, the few videos that I had that just like went viral there's I think there's a video that has like 4 million views which is pretty insane to me that that ever 
even happened to me in 2014 when like YouTube was not even really a thing. It was back when like Carly Bible and like Jaclyn Hill and all those YouTubers were like the only YouTubers and now it's like there's so many YouTubers, which is great, but it's also like at the same time, I'm just like, I've been doing this for so long that I do want to do something more. Now that I'm 24 especially, I'm like, time to do something more so I don't want to get like sidetracked because I know I talk a lot but I am going to go ahead and conceal any spots that I just feel like are lurking so this is a dark spot that I had from like a breakout and I have a lot of redness here and that's pretty much it so those spots right there always kind of just like bother me a bunch and just like pat it down Okay, so after I have done that, I'm going to go ahead and do my favorite thing and it's the whole like soap brow trend and I've been here for it. So I actually got this new product. It's from Soap Brows WBC and I swear it's like the most amazing thing. So it's literally a soap brow and comes with this like spoolie. So I'm just gonna like brush up my hairs. And what you do is you spray it with this spray. You do like one spray and then I take the spoolie and then I just brush, basically brush up my eyebrow hairs so that they're like all like soapy browy and bushy or whatever because I know that is the thing right now and I've been really loving this trend because it's so simple I don't have to like fill in my eyebrows or anything I just love the way this makes my eyebrows look. But if I do want them to be perfect, I will take the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'll show you guys what I do. Very slightly um, fill in any sparse areas, but like very, very slightly so that it just like looks natural. Like that, and then same thing here. I like to like go in into the bottom and do that. Okay, like that. And that is a how my eyebrows look. Bird with the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this Omega shadow from Marc Jacobs. And it's just like a really nice brown. Okay, so I'm gonna take this beautiful shadow. I'm gonna put it on the outer corners. I know people are probably gonna come for me and say I always do the same makeup look, but I just do what works for me. And like, this is what works for me. So you know what, leave me alone. Um, I just love a beautiful brown shadow like this. I'm just gonna really pat that on like all over. Like a big fluffy blender and just blend it all out. And then I'm gonna go into the Stone Cold palette and I'm gonna take the shade Fickle Fate, which is a darker brown, and just put it into like this outer corner here. So that it's like a little bit more dimension, I guess. And just like filter it up. I'm gonna build it up into like the outerest corners there. Then what I want to do is this Laura Mercier Caviar Chrome Veil. And I just want to put it like right there into the top. It's gonna give like the most beautiful shimmer. Put it on. Obviously don't leave it like that. Brush like this and then just blend it in. Angled brush, and we're gonna do a brown liner with a brown right there in this corner. And you're not gonna be able to like see it much, but it's gonna be there. Like so, and the something on the side. Blender, and then just blend out that wing. And it's Blend it out. It's like a blended look. This is a concealer. This one from Laura Mercier. To blend it out like upwards. Like so. Really puts the look together as you guys can see. So I'm gonna do the inner corner hat eye, which literally you just go like this. I kind of like look inward when I do this and it works. So just like look to like the side. I just do that and it kind of like 
Just makes your eyes look longer. I like love the effect that it gives. I'm gonna do a little bit of a brown liner just to make this more sultry. One can relate to me, but I literally get the worst. Like the second I'm distracted, I am distracted. So I need to stop getting distracted. I'm going to now do my mascara. So I'm gonna mix two different mascaras. This is the Laura Mercier. It's one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna kind of like, like make it go outward. I really like this eye makeup. Like I feel like it's glam, but it's also wearable. It's not too much. Um, so yeah. I wanted to do something a little more glam since everyone's like Joanna, you always do the same thing, and I'm like, no, I don't. Like, no, I don't. <laughs> Look at the outer corner of the eye. So I do that, and then I take my Paracone MD mascara because I like using two mascaras, and I just like put my lashes to the side, like so. I'm gonna use these dew drop, these bronzing drops from Paracone which I love this because it just bronzes up your face like super naturally so like I just love doing this and I take this little brush here to blend it in can you see that? like it just like gives me the most natural kind of bronziness and hug in everywhere else brings like warmth to my face which I love Then I'm going to Lila B bronzer and set the bronzer in place. I'm gonna take like a big fluffy brush, Lila B. Green blush, this is from OK Beauty. And just like put it on, oh God, I put too much. It's fine if you put too much. We blend it in. So we blend it out upwards. And I do put a significant amount on my nose because I like the blushed out nose effect. Like, I love the way that looks. This blush from this, like, Laura Mercier eyeshadow palette collection. It's this pink one. I'm going to mix these two together because they're like, super pretty and glowy. I'm just going to... Top. And then for highlight, I'm going to this one from e.l.f. It's like this jelly one, and I really like it, actually. A brush there and just apply it directly like that. God, you guys, that highlight. And put it like in all those areas there. And I'm going to take a little mini brush and just kind of like blend it into my... Blend it in. Oh, there we go. Give that glowiness. It's like a really dewy look. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take this like pink highlight from Laura Mercier that I think is really pretty. Cause we're going, I'm going for like a pinky look. So I'm just gonna set it in place. Guys, I put on so much goddamn highlight. That's crazy. Then I am going to accentuate my freckles. And then I'm going to line my lips with this lip liner from this lip liner from ColourPop. Oh my god, you guys, this is so glowy. I love it. So this is like a brown. I kind of like to like blend out the liner with my fingers so that it looks more natural. And then I take the shade called J'adore from Marc Jacobs. This is like a staple of mine. It's a really beautiful shade. So it's like a brownish kind of. And then I'll set that in place with the Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Uh-huh Honey. Uh-huh Honey. And it's like a brown lip gloss. And I just sort of set it. Put it into place like that. I really love the way this came out. And that's the finished look, you guys. Just really, really pinky, glowy, healthy glam.
Okay, you guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys check out Sand and Sky. Um, it's literally my favorite pink mask ever. And it just like really made my skin look flawless. So I use my discount code and click the link down below to check them out. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, follow me on my socials at Joanna Kakina. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all the love and support and for coming back to watch this video. And I hope you guys loved it. And I will see you in my next video.